Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we are doing a Karma game, and Karma is not a sport this time. She is going to go mid lane, or at least she's going to play one of the solo lanes. Don't know if she's going mid lane or top lane. It seems that Rice is going top with his uh, teleport there. I don't know who's going bottom lane though. Oh, it's two. Never mind, it's not the standard set. No junglers, so in case you want to only see uh, uh, jungle, well, uh, normal setup games, you probably don't want to watch this one. So, bye bye, go watch another video. <laughs> go watch the Mundo video I put out two, uh, two videos ago. That is a very good one. And if you haven't seen that yet, you should definitely see that. So anyhow, uh, we are top lane here with uh, with Jax, so no solo lane, but yeah, she can do pretty well in uh, just about any lane. Except for jungle, I guess. She's not a really good jungler. She doesn't really have anything to damage the minions, uh, well, well, to extra damage the minions. She does have the AoE uh, shield, which helps out, but... I don't think she can actually take on the, the jungle with great ease. She can of course do that because any character can jungle if you're patiently enough. Um, yeah, well nothing is going to happen here. Uh, the enemy team is over here somewhere in this bush because we saw them run in. And there we are. So it is, uh, who's this? It's Draven, okay. So Draven Tarek over here. Yeah, and. Yeah, this, uh, this should be uh, interesting. Both of them have kind of a support champion and uh, an AD champion. The difference is, of course, the range. Jax is a melee champion and Draven is a ranged champion. So there's a big difference there. Akali starting off with her shield. Akali uh, Karma starting off with her shield, and uh, that of course means that she can do a lot of AOE damage and can push the lane with that. She can also protect them uh, pretty well. Well, herself and the Jax. And yeah, both of them starting off with some regen, uh, puts some potions, which is by far the best opening for Jax. And um, yeah, regrowth pendant and mana potion for our karma here. And that of course gives her uh, some some regen, not a whole lot, but she does have a heal, so it's not too big of a deal. Oh, Jax, Jax, Jax! I think Jax is gone. I think Jax is AFK because he hasn't moved in quite a while. And yeah, the enemy. Uh, Profiting from that because, well, what else are they, are they going to do? I mean, they're not going to wait around until he finally reconnects or until he gets killed by the minions. I can totally see that. I mean, it wasn't that obvious if he disconnected because he was attacking stuff, but yeah, that's why I thought he was uh, disconnected. So, missing a couple of minions there. Actually, quite a few minions. I like this counter, I wish they would implement that on every champion. Uh, some champions have it now. She was the first one to have it. I think they uh, programmed it for her. But there are lots of champions that need this, or that could very well do with this. Of course I would like to see the counter itself, so the, the timer on the skill. But yeah, that's not going to happen apparently. Or the timer on here, that would be good as well. But at least you can see how far along you are, how far you have to wait. And yeah, the same would be true for the Heimerdinger turrets. And I think the Teemo mushrooms already have it nowadays. But that was well after Karma was released, so... Definitely not something that they are going to implement uh, 
on all champions yet. So lots of damage going off on both the enemy champions. No real focus here and that is kind of their problem. Uh, the enemy team is really focusing Jax. So yeah, we saw Rice coming in and Rice actually gets the kill there. Oh, doesn't follow up with that last little bit of damage. But the Karma is going to attempt to do so. No, Rice, why did you run out? Yeah, they should just run through the turret. Rice can definitely take a few turret shots. No, stay there. I don't know where he is. I think he uh, he went into this bush or something like that. I don't know. <coughs> but he definitely is out now. They should have... Yeah, they should have just gone for that, but anyhow. Um, <laughs> going mid now, because Rice is uh, is in top lane. And once again, missing a minion, just because she doesn't attack there. So yeah, not the most of exciting of games here, because we have no jungler. So that makes the gameplay already a whole lot duller in the early game. Of course, in the late game, we can still see a lot of... Uh, nice place but we are going to fast forward a little bit because this is just the laning phase so she's going a little bit aggressive here on misfortune but misfortune doesn't really care apparently she's not really too worried I will try to catch the the fight scenes a little bit in normal mode in normal speed but yeah as you can see it's just farming and farming and farming and farming and that is just not the most interesting gameplay to see. So yeah, going um, aggressive here, but not landing the slow on the misfortune. Misfortune did ghost for that, I think. Does she have ghost? Because I heard ghost. Yeah, she has ghost and exhaust. Misfortune with ghost. That is really uh, unnecessary. You would like to have flash on her because she already has a ghost in her innate ability or movement speed buff I should call it. Of course it's not a ghost because it doesn't allow you to run through minions plus it uh, uh, goes down when you get hit. So currently um, up to let's see Oh, we are in the top team, of course. 21. And Miss Fortune here is at 40. So, Miss Fortune doubled the minions, but that's of course because she was in the top lane for a little bit there. And Miss Fortune getting damaged quite heavily there. But she's still going to stay in. That is very unwise. She hasn't used her health potion yet. And is not currently using one, so... She might actually be considering going back anyway, and that's why she's not using it. Oh, no, no. There it goes. She's just late on the uptake that she still had one. And Misfortune running out. Yeah, but coming back in. And going to get killed. Yep. She ran out. She was safe. And as uh, she comes back in, reali not realizing apparently that uh, Karma does a lot of burst damage. And all the the skills have relatively short cooldowns on the low levels, except for this one. But six second cooldown on level three and a ten second cooldown on level four. Yeah, for the amount of damage they do, it's pretty low cooldowns. So going for a philosopher's stone first here. That is um, a very nice choice. It is of course, uh, yeah, kind of common choice on support champions but since she is playing the mid lane here well she she did decide that I guess when she bought her first item <laughs> they're really way too scared here with the shield on the shield can take one third shot the heal can take one third shot so they can easily tower dive there the problem is, can they do the damage that is required? 
But yeah, they shouldn't really try. They should just back off. The turret in mid gets destroyed because Miss Fortune is free to farm whatever she likes. And she's currently at 49 with Karma at 28. And there's a big difference there, of course. But, oh, Karma, dude, do some damage. Miss Fortune does not have a flash, so... And Ravis coming in, going to land a taunt, and bye-bye. Miss Fortune dies. So yeah, back off already. It seems that Jack still wants to go. And Rice decides to go for this one. So everyone goes for that one. That's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to go for the uh, the champion that um, that is closest, or no, that got snared in this case. Not so much that's closest, but if uh, someone gets uh, how low is she? Ah, pff, hundred, over a hundred. Um, if someone snares or stuns or well taunts one of the enemy champions, that's the one you go for, no matter who it is. I mean, that's just the general rule. Every if everyone sticks to that, then of course you will have the best kind of uh, fight. So yeah, it doesn't really say the um, the amount of ability power you get from this. That's kind of yeah. Every everyone says uh, with everyone's abilities, it says how much you're actually getting from that, and with this one, it doesn't say that. Probably because it's. Uh, uh, dynamic one, so if you get damage more, you get more AP. And come on, Rice! No, not going to make it out. She could have healed as well. She could also have used one of the mantras with the soul shield. That way it would have done damage to the enemies. But hey, it's all good. Come on, get that blue buff already. No? We're going after the enemies. Thought she would get the blue buff here, but apparently not. And Karma with the blue buff, of course, very strong. Jack's getting stunned there inside of the Misfortune Ultimate. And it is time for Karma to go do something. Yeah, it's not very smart. One versus three, of course. But Jax comes in, and then it's two versus three. At least they have some focus this time. They get the Tarek right away, and the third guy comes in, which is Ramus, of course. And Ramus is going to help them get the triple kill here. Come on. No, no, no. Draven allowed to run out. Jack's very low. That's uh, that's something you want to avoid against. Uh, well, this kind of an enemy team. <laughs> well, the enemy team that was up here, Misfortune plus uh, plus Draven, both of which can do a lot of damage. And if you're low, yeah, you can get damaged pretty heavily, or well, you can kill get killed pretty easily. I should say by that uh, that AD damage. So yeah, Karma, uh, finally going for the blue buff here. And yeah, it's um, it's really a long fight this, because uh, <laughs> there's not a whole lot she can do against this blue buff. She should just keep shielding herself. And as long as she can shield herself, she should be fine, but she's out of mana. And well, the cooldown is up, so that's not the problem. But it is a pretty uh, expensive spell. She does get the blue buff now, and that means that they're going to, or she's going to have the mana regen she needs to spam all of her spells a little bit more. What are we going for? No, get the misfortune, dudes. So, Rice messing up there should, of course, get the misfortune. And yeah, so even though they should go for the guy that is uh, snared, they actually went for the misfortune, which is the good choice, uh, or the better choice in this case, 
But it's kind of silly of uh, Rice to not realize that he should snare the other guy. Yeah, nobody's going to come in, so they might as well just stay there and get all the minions. And bye bye, Tarek. <laughs> Nicely done. So, for some reason, Janna running all the way to three enemies, even though there's not a whole lot she can do. She can't really, uh, well, take down the, uh, the minions very well. So, I don't know why she would run through all of those enemies. She got lucky that she didn't get stunned. But, yeah. It's all good, it's all good. We're going to fast forward a little bit again, because, well, this is just farming and farming and farming and farming. An ally has been slain. Oh wow, she got the kill on Rice. that is says... Oh, yeah, well, she's not the only one there anymore. That explains. I don't know why there are three guys top all the time. But it is kind of strange, to be honest. So, random misfortune ultimate. And Jax goes quite low there. Um, yeah, he is, of course, trying to get as much done as he can, but yeah, he gets nicked down pretty easily. And that was a very, very bad engage on his part. And this Karma is doing a hell of a ton of damage. So yeah, Karma of course does quite a lot of damage. And she is going to get a triple. Wow. Well actually a double because Rice picked up that first one. But that is pretty impressive. Even though she has no items yet. She has um, yeah, 25 ability power. The rest is coming from uh, this and maybe some runes. I don't know. Uh, yeah. You do up to 77 more damage with your abilities. That is such a bad tooltip. That's not what ability power means at all. It's what it should mean. But it's not what it means. And there you can see how the game was designed and how it kind of transformed into the game we play now. But yeah, ability power nowadays means a lot more than just the uh, the amount of uh, damage you can do with your abilities. Because obviously your heal, for example, also scales with ability power. So it has nothing to do with damage. And the shield also goes, so the abs uh, absorb part also scales with ability power. So it has nothing to do with damage again. And you can see how that uh, changed over time, or kind of from the design stage into now. So, yep, the <laughs> misfortune doing a lot of damage there on Lux. But Karma is just going to jump straight in with her shield. And, well, she didn't actually jump in, but uh, because uh, Ramus was already there. Oh, sorry. It was a kind of a... Kind of a bad positioning on my part. But we did see the kill. I was just wondering what happened to Ramus, but Ramus just recalled. Rem is getting the thorn mail, and yes, I explained that very poorly last time. I know how it works, I just wanted to make a point why it's not a good item. And yeah, I'm not going to explain all the details there, because then it becomes overly complicated, and people don't understand the difference between what I'm trying to say, and... Uh, or, yeah, they, they don't understand what I'm trying to say, because my explanation of how Thornmail works is very complicated. 
So if you want to know how Thorn Mail works exactly, it is um, it does it returns the damage before armor is applied. So your armor. Um, wow, that's a lot of damage. Is she a pijama? Yes, she is. Huh. Didn't see that. But yeah, your armor level, if you have it, is um, beneficial to the amount of damage you can deal with it. But still, yeah, the enemy's magic resist gets applied to the 30%. So, with anywhere near decent magic resist, it does no damage at all. And that was kind of the point I was trying to make last time. But, yeah... People wanted a full explanation on how Thornmail works. So yeah, lots of um, harass going off between the two uh, teams. Because they keep being in the same lane, well, like three champions at a time. Nobody has been top lane for a while now. It has been in the first part of the game, nobody was uh, mid game. Uh, mid lane, sorry. And now nobody's top lane, so Jack's coming in here. Yeah, obviously they were going to pick that up pretty easily. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze a couple of times. And I can't really operate the mouse very well when I have to sneeze because then it goes like hachoo, hachoo. and that's of course not very good that's not what you want to see so I kinda locked on to uh, Karma there for a little bit and Karma was farming she is currently getting the blue buff although Lux could do with the blue buff as well and we are going for this uh, for this, uh, this, this Tarek character and yeah Tarek not really <laughs> impressed by the amount of damage they uh, they did quite a lot of damage to him but not enough to actually kill him come on get the ash yes there we go that's how you do that so Karma already a death cap and working towards a Rylai's crystal scepter well with 12 kills you can um, see how that works, how you can get a lot of gold out of that. <laughs> ah, that's pretty nice. Ram is doing all the work and then Karma grabbing the kill. So yeah, here we go, come on, let's engage guys, let's engage, let's group up. No, Karma, that's not how you engage. You wait for the rest of the team. But they're going to get a triple kill out of this. No, only a double. Uh, she's still not gone, so she might still die. But it seems that... Um, yeah, they were going to trade a one for one over here, and then oh, Rice actually got one as well. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so everyone goes down except for the misfortune. Lux and Karma went down on the other side, and come on, yes, there we go. Finally, we're getting something somewhere. And yes, Karma is building up a lot of AP here, 320 AP with her uh, Rideless Crystal Scepter. And this one now goes up to 130 ability power. That is pretty impressive. Uh, you can get a lot of extra damage done with that, as well as a lot of heal, of course. So, um, yeah, just going to continue on.
and <laughs> wow Lux almost hitting everyone but only hitting one guy in the end and oh karma in some trouble yep karma in a lot of trouble and actually getting killed so here you see the snare goes off into the taunt and that's how you kill people it it may be the most tanky character on this enemy team but it's the only one that got snared and therefore you go for it for that one it's not a yeah very hard approach of course everyone can understand how that works and you definitely want to go on the tank sometimes I know that um, especially in the low level games everyone always says don't attack the tank don't focus the tank now you focus whoever you can if they're near or if they get snared then they're the target of choice that's just the way it is you go if you go four or five versus one on a tanky character it still does a lot of damage you can still get the kill the problem is that most people will do that in in a team fight so if they have uh, the ability to choose any character on the, on the field and they will still go for the tanky character because they're the nearest but if you can reach someone else then you should definitely do that obviously it all has to do with uh, well your uh, summoner skills for example and uh, well your ability to get into the, the enemy team if you're really uh, let's say weak if you, if you don't have a lot of AP, not a lot of tankiness, then you don't really have the ability to go for anyone else but the nearest character. If on the other hand you're Rice, and you're building a lot of tanky stuff, not like this Rice, but like a real Rice, um, you can actually just flash into the enemy team and uh, snare one of them, and then do a lot of damage to them and then by that time your team will catch up and uh, yeah lots of good things will uh, will be happening then anyway uh, <laughs> Lux getting the kill there on uh, on Tarek and with the nice movement speed buff Ramus is going to catch up with Draven here so Karma giving him the movement speed buff and he already has a movement speed buff so that uh, makes him super fast and of course they're going to take out this turret now and they can probably take out the next turret and the inhibitor because even with all five there they can really defend this Ram is going in straight away he gets the shield and he is staying alive nicely done does take two tower shots but that's okay he can take that with the shield shield actually absorbed all of that Another taunt going off. Misfortune overextending quite a lot there. And <laughs> another kill for Karma. She's up to 15 kills now. And Jack is going to tower dive two towers. And that is risky, but it does pay off for them. No, it does not pay off for them. No shield coming out from Karma though. But it is already a surrender. And um, yeah, Ash really proud that it took four guys to kill Ash. Yeah, it really didn't take four guys to kill Ash, but it took four guys, or four guys were used to kill Ash. There's a big difference between that. Just because it's a one versus four doesn't mean they need four champions. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG.